Bought with a price. My body is not my own. Let's talk about that. Good morning, beautiful people. Brought to you by Breakfast Coffee, where they make left-handed cups. Because you better have the sign outside, you know, instead of yourself. If it was right-handed, it would be towards me. But no, thank you, Dean, for <coughs> the left-handed coffee. So today, um, your body is not your own. I have to say body like that. It's just very nice. It's very nice. So weird. Body. Um, so your body is not your own. How can that be? Well, you either a you either sell your body to sin, or you have your body owned by God. Either way, your spirit cannot just own itself. Something has to be the master of your soul. Okay. Now we get in this uh, lovely. Uh, false narrative in our mind that we are just ourselves. We, we own ourselves. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, but you're either being, your soul is uh, master to fleshly desires or Satan or demons or things of this earth, or your soul is mastered by God and the Holy Spirit and you know, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, selfish, you know, self, selfishness, unselfishness, uh, you know, those things. So either way, you are going to be a slave to something. You are going to be a servant of something. You can't just serve yourself. You're either serving your fleshly desires or you're serving your spiritual desires. That's the way life is. That's the way we're born. That's the way this world works. So if that's true, which it is, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 through 20 says this, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? So once you become a Christian, once you say, God, you are number one, you are better than myself, you are better than anything that lives or exists, you are number one in my life, uh, everything else is number two and I'm last. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been bought with a price. What price was that? Jesus dying for our sins. Jesus going through a horrible, horrible pain of emotion, of mental, of physical, uh, even spiritual pain. All these temptations and not sinning. All the, uh, the cross, the beating, the, the, the bloody mess. He, he put all the sins born on him on the cross. That was a huge price. And so if that was paid for us, then when we become a Christian, we do not own ourselves anymore. The Holy Spirit owns us. The God owns us, and we need to glorify Him. So it says, that, therefore, glorify God in your body, in your body, in your body. So, what does that mean? Well, everything you do, say think and watch the Holy Spirit does it with you. What? Yeah. So that's why being a Christian, we're supposed to, we're supposed to <clears throat> think before we do something. We're supposed to glorify God in the things that we do, we say, we watch, we hear. We're supposed to be sinning less and less and less. Now we'll not be sinning at all. No, we won't do that until we have our new body and, and, and die and get the fleshly desire out of here. But we should mature in Christ and stop sinning more. We're supposed to be sinning less. Because the Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit is doing the same things we're doing. And do we want God to go through that? Do we want the Holy Spirit to go through that? No. If we're bought with a price, then the Holy Spirit has to control us. Not our fleshly desires. And that's a battle. I have, I have not won that yet. But the Holy Spirit helps me to say no more and more to my fleshly desires. So, my encouragement for you today, are you sold and bought with a price of the physical, of this world, of sin? Or are you bought and sold with a price of the Holy Spirit? I'd rather be controlled by the Holy Spirit than the fleshly desire.
because the Holy Spirit controls me, I have the future with me. I have a future after my death. I have a future after the grave. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great, what is it? Wednesday. Wednesday with your body. Bye-bye.